Florida Democrats are starting 2022 with a voter registration deficit of more than 43,000. It's the first time the party has been behind their GOP rivals in state history. We have let our guard down, especially during off years, and the other side have eaten away at our margins. Dem Party Chair Manny Diaz announced Monday a $2.5 million registration effort to change things. Partnering with third-party group Florida Alliance, that initiative aims to create a year-round registration effort that won't stop at the midterms. This is a statewide effort designed to help Democrats all over the state of Florida. Officials didn't offer many details other than to say they were targeting key markets and would need hundreds of canvassers across the state with Hispanic voters a vital demographic. So the urgency of getting on with it is huge, but the time is short and things are different. Political analyst Dr. Susan McManus says Democrats will have their work cut out for them. The party, she says, often suffers in midterms and lacks the turnout of Republicans. To be successful, she thinks Dems will have to overcome voter fatigue, lingering debate on COVID mitigation, and try to engage younger voters on college campuses. Putting a lot of money into it and effort and working it is essential to the future of Florida Democrats, and they know it. Republicans, meanwhile, continue to tout their lead. Florida's governor announced it last November and attributed the change to frustration with Democratic leadership. I do think that you're seeing people move to states that value freedom. Time will tell if the GOP maintains its margin as the October 11th registration deadline looms just about eight months away.